Hi folks, welcome to smokerspack.com. I'm here this morning in an industrial estate in Ireland that's abandoned, just like every other industrial estate in Ireland has been in the last while. It was built at a time of excess, built at a time when we had tons of money floating around the countryside and we were able to build these huge, vast industrial estates and then build nothing in them. So you see behind me was actually a completely abandoned yard. But the car we're here to look at this morning is the Renault Fluence. And I'm going to get out of your way now and show it to you. Because it's a little on the odd side. As you can see, not only a business users but family users too and I'll show you why okay this is the back of the car as you can see I have tons of room I am six foot one I've set my seat the driver's seat into the correct position for my height and I still have acres of room tons of headroom despite the low roof line at the back it still has that coupe look down around the back of it don't forget that the insignia couldn't achieve that there's tons of headroom in here in here in the back it's pretty basic now you do get two vents in the center for you to be able to turn on and off the air you can't control the temperature back here but you can turn off or turn on and off the air on the passenger side and on the driver's side there is children's blinds which are very handy and I can assure you when you have kids that's one of the most handy features to have in a car not like them little elastic things that spring out and hit you between the two eyes when you're trying to put them on they're useless it's in the driver's seat where this car begins to really shine through I can absolutely tell you I am sitting on what I would have in my sitting room as an armchair it is the most comfortable seat I have ever sat in in a car of this class there's absolutely nothing else to compare to it nothing nothing else the nearest I suppose you'd get to would be a Citroen some of the Citroen some of the Citroen saloons are big comfy seats the French do comfortable very very well all of the material used are absolutely top-notch there is nothing lovely rubberized bits things that you touch are all really well done even those little chromy bits that are made of plastic obviously uh, even they're really well inset you've dual zone climate control you've got a keyless entry system okay that means you just need to have the key in your pocket when you come back to the car the door will open when you press uh, or when you pull the handle or when you put your hand in it also means start without the keys okay that's your key but you don't really need it now also on the key you'll find you can turn your lights on on the drivers and open the boot and lock and unlock the car should you want to do it with the with the keys if you're more of a traditionalist this is the tom tom edition which means that you get satellite navigation as standard built into the dashboard you also get um, dual zone climate control and a nice little LED display now the only that's the only problem I have with this car that should have been TFT just like it is in the Grand Scenic you should have got a TFT display there the LED display is a little bright it's black and white and uh, it's just a little over the top it's the only solitary flaw I can find in this car so what's it like to drive well it's what you'd expect from a saloon car the difference being Eric Bassett the managing director of Renault Ireland said that this car would blow Irish drivers away 
Mm. Well, one thing I will say for the car is it does seem incredibly well set up for Irish roads. It's really comfy, and I mean really comfy, on motorways. When you're pottering along at 120 kilometers an hour, this car is sublime. It's quiet, it's refined, the air conditioning is really, really good, the gear shift is quite sporty in the car. Everything's really, really good to make it a decent, decent car to drive. On the smaller roads, B roads, back roads and things, the car handles brilliantly. I have not troubled the traction control once in the week that I've had the car. Even in the rain and wind we've had the last couple of days, it's sunny now. God knows why it's sunny now, but it's sunny now. But a few days ago, the wind was absolutely beating around the place. It was lashing rain every few minutes. And even last night, I went out for a nighttime drive to see what it feels like. A car can often feel very, very different at nighttime. And it does, it does feel very different, but I'm telling you, it feels brilliant. Around town, like I am now, the clutch is light, the steering is light, the gearbox is short and snappy. The engine, which is the same engine I got in the Renault Grand Scenic, just doesn't feel the same. It feels much, much better. All right, diesel engines to me sound like a bag of cats, okay? It's just clattery old things work away in the background. Almost every one of them are like that. There's a handful, and I mean a very small handful, in among the Beamers, we'll talk about three liter Beamer. Um, uh, you might even talk about the 535 Beamer, which would have a very sweet sounding diesel engine. But for the most part, all of the modern diesels that are on offer in standard saloon cars just sound like people playing the drums under the bonnet. Badly. This is no exception. At speed, when you hear the engine come up, you will hear that diesel, that sort of agricultural sound that comes along with every diesel, no matter what happens. The thing is, when you're actually cruising along on a hunter, I can't hear the engine at all. There is no sound. The reason this car maybe looks a little bit odd on the exterior when you see it first is very simple. Here's a little secret. This car was originally designed to be an electric car. That's all, electric. That was his original designation. And if you read elsewhere on smokerspack.com, you will find the Renault ZE Roadshow, where I went up and drove um, the prototype model of the electric car, which is coming from Renault next year. It's the Renault Fluence ZE, which is a elect fully electric car. It's exactly the same model, same size. You get a huge, big saloon car, but it runs completely on batteries. So what do I really think of the Renault Fluence? Well, 23,800 euro, you can't sniff at that price. That's the full retail before discount. 530 litre boot, that's huge. Back seats, tons of leg room, tons of head room. Front seats, more elbow room than I know what to do with. Great spec in the TomTom -tom version. I'd buy it with my own money. It's one of the best cars I've driven.